College bros. I don't know. Did you see this? The uh, absolute brolo, bro, brotato chips, the broletariat, um, and and the uh, bro, brosios. I don't know what the, what what all the many bro related terms. <laughs> They stood against the unwashed Marxist ma masses yesterday or two days ago and kept the American flag off the ground. Are you familiar with this story? Oh, no, I didn't see oh, that. I get to tell you about our, our brave brochachos. Okay. So on all these, all these um, campuses, you have a lot of um, commie scum that are uh, protesting, you know, because they got nothing better to do with their lives. <laughs> and that's fine. They can do that. The problem is a lot of them were ripping down the American flag and putting up the Palestinian flag, mm. all this kind of stuff. So some brave alpha giga Chad um, boys from the Pi Kappa Phi, uh, so um, what is it called? Um, fraternity mm -hmm. stood against the unwashed masses, held the flag off the ground until someone could come <laughs> and, and raise it. The unwashed mass. Yeah. <laughs> So the Good first for them. let's go. I yeah. just don't understand if people are going to be protesting stuff like this in what universe do you think it's a good idea to to mess with an American flag? Because you hate situation? America. I mean I swear that's where that's where they're at with a lot yeah. of this stuff. And it makes it so difficult for me to even look into what they're even saying. So if if they're oh, going to be like that and they're going to hate America, come on. Yeah, I don't want to hear your well-reasoned argument because you've already disqualified yourself of my time. Mm -hmm. The Now, I'm going to, before I reveal to you, so some people said, somebody started to GoFundMe for these guys. I'm going to read you what the GoFundMe wrote, uh, uh, what it said, and then I will reveal it to you. It said, commie losers across the country have invaded college campuses to make dumb demands of weak university administrators. But amidst the chaos, the screaming, the anti-Semitism, the hatred of faith and the flag, stood a platoon of American heroes, armored in vineyard vines in Patagonia, fueled by Zinn and White Claws. These triumphant <laughs> bromohemians uh, bro protected old glory from the unwashed Marxist horde, laughing at their shrieks and wails and shielding the stars and stripes from Soviet missiles. These men, uh, these boys, no men of UNT oh. Chapel Hills, Pi Kappa Phi, gave the best to America, and now they deserve the best. Help us raise funds to throw this frat party, uh, this frat, the party they deserve, a party worth worthy of the boat shoed proletariat who did what their who did their country proud. You ready for this? I love it. Okay, let's okay. see. See how it's going. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! It's at half a million dollars right now. I mean, I bet you if I refresh, yeah, it went up another six grand. So oh wow! Uh, I'm curious. That that's gonna be a I'm big party. About this party, yeah. Yeah, I wanna. So I've everyone I'm, in America's invited. <laughs> yeah, in my in my in my position or my um. Because I'm an old man now, I'm like, man, I don't know how many members there are of this frat. Let's say there's, I don't know, I don't know how many are normal members in a frat, 20 or 30. I mean, every one of them could have a free year of school. Uh, I just, right. I don't want to be a wet blanket, but bros, as a, as a hopefully honorary member of the proletariat, like, f let's say it's 10 guys just for the hell of it. That's 50 grand each. That's two and two years of free schooling. Yep. Like, don't yep. waste it all on a party, please. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, I just like, can't, like even when I, I was in that mindset when I was a lot younger too, right after college, I I got a I, I got a, a spot in a Miller Lite commercial and I got mm. residuals for that. And I used everything I made from that toward my student loans. And I'm yeah. like, I am so glad that myself in my 20s did that instead of just going on vacations or right. you know, buying things I didn't need. So uh, that's the thing is the, the decisions you make in your 20s, you're going to thank yourself for when you're in your 30s and, and onward. <laughs> so they've provided an update. A programming there for all of you who bleed red, white, and blue. 
We have identified a world-class party planner, event planner named Susan. She's already hard at work. She's worked in the White House and knows what she's about. <laughs> uh, another fine American is wheels down in North Carolina tonight and working to identify all of our noble-born brochachos who stood down the frumpy hordes with nothing more than a pastel shirt and a smile. GoFundMe <laughs> has dispatched a member of their team to work closely with us to ensure your donations do as God intended to show these guys enough fireworks to blow their Oakley aviators <laughs> straight off their faces. It was 48 years ago this week that Cubs outfielder Rick Monday snatched the American flag from the grimy hands of a long-haired Trotsky's, saving it from incineration. The crowd thanked him with a standing ovation. Today, you're that crowd. You gave this great flag-saluting patriots the honor so they, richly, they so richly deserve. We hope your generosity was a message to every college campus in America from sea to shining sea. This country is great. This country is worth defending. The flag means something. And, and America takes care of her own. Like uh, I love it. I think take $10,000, have yeah, a very have a, exclusive have a rager. party. Yeah. Only the people that they want there so that everybody can you know, have all of the bells and whistles and anything that they want. And then, hey, the rest can help them toward their future, their education, whatever. Yeah, that's what I would. That's what I would want. Like, yeah, uh, that's what I'd like, like to see too. I get it. I love it. But please don't have a five hundred thousand dollar party. I know. Like, please, <laughs> please, please, please do not have a five hundred thousand dollar party. Like, th th there's please, got no, no, please, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, don't have a five hundred thousand dollar party. Like. Have a ten thousand dollar party, like you said. Yep. Have it be a literal rager. Yeah, I mean, J I, there's all these musicians who already hopped on this. Like John Rich is like, "Hey, I'll play at your party for free." Mm -hmm. All this stuff. I don't know if John Rich is popular with the college kids or not, but like, <laughs> I'm sure he could get any patriotic musician. He could oh, have yeah. like John Rich. He could have like Kid Rock, even though he's a fake patriot. <laughs> um, they could have like all these people who want to use it for press. And then put the other four hundred and fifty six thousand dollars into scholarships for I'm sure they'll have to donate something to their um to their uh, whatever their chapter all their right. uh, pi kappa phi. Mm -hmm. um, but these kids should all get like, you know, at least one year of free school, you know, like whatever's left. I like it fine but please god like yes <laughs> be responsible look. please you will thank yourselves <laughs> yeah yeah that's i mean there are people in here that gave 10 grand bill ackman gave 10 grand wow get tom mcdonald live for the rager i just love i love that it's like five pi kappa five men defended their flag throw them a rager <laughs> like, i just love yeah. this for the for the young the really young generation here i love to see stuff like this because sometimes we kind of lose hope for the future but it's like hey the young boys specifically it seems more so than the girls are rebelling in the right direction correct yeah i'd agree with that yeah yeah i big agree i big agree that they um you know that they uh the men are you know, I, I love that it's cool to be patriotic. Like, For it started sure. kind of with Trump. Um, yeah. It, like, they, um, you know, I think that it became cool to love your country again. And... Um, like, the rebellious thing to do. And that's, I mean, kids naturally, it's in, in their nature to want to rebel. You know, teenagers and onward and, like, early 20s and all that. And so now it's like, okay, this is the rebel thing to do, to be patriotic and stuff. Um, so I love that. I, I think I first started realizing how based, uh, a lot of the Gen Z boys are was like yeah. last year I was at, a I was at Dallas fan expo for like nerd stuff. But then at the same time, there was a political women's, uh, I think it was a conservative women's conference or, or something. And a lot of yeah. my friends who are in the political sphere were there. Well, so I did like an escape room with my friends and then they were friends with a couple of zoomers. Uh, who were also there, I just assumed that the Zoomers were going to be so stupid woke. And yeah, I was like, like yeah. giving them a hard time and, <laughs> and saying all this stuff. And I was like, oh, you got to 
cross necklace are you LARPing as a Christian? Yeah. He's like, yeah, no, I yeah. love Jesus. I love my country. I love Trump and all this stuff. Not that I expect everybody to have to love Trump, but in this case, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It's a pleasant surprise. Maybe Zoomers are, are cooler than I realized. They I are. They are. <laughs> yeah, they are trending more Republican or more conservative um, based on some some of the some like recent reports, which I think is awesome. Also, um, you know, I think that, you know, once, you know, the establishment media started calling people that loved America like Nazis, mm -hmm. that's when yeah. it became like I was like, oh, I'm putting an American flag in my house. Oh, like, yeah. suck a butt.